What's going on everyone? Seth Morandi of Friderama TV with this guy. If you don't know who this is, this is the legendary Mark DePaula. We're talking about high-end fashion, beauty, commercial work, fine art. I mean, this guy's style is so prolific that he's brought into projects specifically for what he delivers people are looking for. And he's been known for shooting Leica and a lot of shallow depth of field. I had to call you in because we got the Leica Q3 here. Yeah, amazing. Thank you for that. Um, this thing is crazy, uh, new being <laughs> brand new. Uh, they're, they're really, the only thing uh, retained from the Q2 is the lens. Yeah, um, it's a complete redesign, basically. Redesign, like this uh, articulating screen, amazing. Uh, that really sort of is a game changer in a lot of ways. Um, it's very modern uh, and it has incorporated many things that are, you know, right now, what, what is important right now. Um, a few just general specs, 8K video, you might say, well, why video? Video is really prominent. I, basically, every one of my clients now uh, is requiring video. Fortunately, I'm a film director, directed television commercials for a long time, and so I have a, a, a leg up, as they say, uh, in uh, you know the motion side of things. Leica has really worked out, thought about uh, capturing motion as an integral part of uh, all, all filmmaking right now. Articulating screen, low angles, high angles, uh, so much versatility. Yeah, um, when we say this is redesigned, it pretty much is. We're talking about the full frame sensor, but now it's got 60 megapixels. And one of the big things that Leica has been doing is pixel binning. So you can go down to 33 megapixel or 18 megapixel where it bins the pixels together so the density changes. So it's better for low light shooting. And you're big on that. You're big on wide open apertures, lower yeah. light. Yeah, I believe in not taking uh, uh, the viewer out of the environment. Yep. You know, so it's not like I, I don't want to pop up flash or add a flash. As soon as the flash goes off, you're not in the environment. It doesn't feel like where you are. Yeah. For me, it's so important to illustrate where I am to my clients. So the, the, you know, low light capability is really, really important. Yeah, and on that sensor, that 60 megapixel sensor, you're also getting face detect autofocus. Before we had contrast base, which is very accurate, but face detect, you're talking about speed and tracking ability. So tracking human subjects and be able to work within that 1.7 shallow depth of field. However, you, you made this camera your own. Mark went all manual on this thing because that's how he shoots. So he's able to make this the Leica he's used to working with. Yeah, it's sort of, I, I call it wringing its neck. Like I, I get a camera or a new lens and I push it and push it till it comes into my sort of way of doing things and then it becomes very comfortable. A couple things that really remarkable this morning shooting. Um, viewfinder, uh, the EVF. Oh gosh, like it, it's amazing how accurate that is. And not like, you know, uh, shaky accurate, it just looks very natural. One of the things you commented on while he was shooting was that punch in focusing where it actually like zooms in onto the image so you can see what's really in focus. He was talking about how it goes in and out of that really quickly so he can work manually, it punches in, he checks that critical focus, he's off of it and he's shooting. So it's not like any kind of lag, you were like right. very organic the way you were shooting. Very much so, very natural that, you know, what uh, Cartier-Bresson spoke about, the uh, decisive moment. So it's not like, I don't have any feeling of you know, uh, uh, focusing with the punch in, pressing the shutter and it not being that shot. I, I get the shot at the time of exposure. Um, it, it's <laughs> quite remarkable. Um, yeah, I think every time you took the camera with me, your face like, this is awesome. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was really, I mean, and it's that's a genuine uh, feel for the camera. It's a genuine feedback because this guy's been using Leica for so long, but this is a lot of features packed in that you haven't really worked with before yeah. and you're, you're experiencing firsthand right now. We know Leica is good for the quality, the build quality, the everything is so upper end with, with Leica that they kept the same lens, the 28 millimeter f1.7 because it was able to handle more resolution than was previously on the Q2. Now you have more resolution, but with the resolution, we now have a new processor. With the new processor, you get the autofocus, you get the 8K video, you get ProRes video on this thing. Plus we got new ports, HDMI port, USB-C, and it'll even charge wirelessly. Any Qi charger, like a pad, throw it down on that, go to sleep, wake up, your camera's charged. You don't gotta worry about plugging anything in, taking a battery out, nothing like that. Yeah, the interconnectivity is cool. Um, you know, we're constantly showing things on a big screen, so HDMI out to be able to put on a screen is real cool. Um, you know, one of the you know craziest things here is the design of the lens itself. We sort of take it for granted a little bit with Leica because they're so amazing and constant 
development in terms of optics and uh, f color fidelity and accuracy. And, you know, so that's a standard. They didn't have to change anything on this because it was so ahead of its time. Yeah. Uh, thus the popularity of the Q series. And uh, that remains true that it, it, it's different. And, and I don't say that just because I'm a, a, a Leica. I don't work for Leica. I don't get paid anything from Leica. I just use Leica because they're superlative uh, optics and, and, and build. And it, on the build quality, it feels very uh, solid. Yeah, it's like no plastic and yeah, you know, um, it, it, it feels great. Like it really it feels good in my hand. And Mark's the kind of photographer that's very particular on what he's looking for and he's finding it within the Leica series of cameras. But I mean, we're talking about a guy who has his books permanently in the MoMA library. Like this is, it, it, this is like a real nice seal of approval from a guy who really knows what he's looking for and he's getting a lot out of the Q3. One of the things I think uh, we should talk about is that when he's talking about that EVF, that's another thing that got boosted. We went from 3.6 million dots, now I think 5.6 million dots. Full specs will be in the link down below if you guys want to check out all the nerd data. But I think it's important to get a sense of the feel, which is what really you talk about, especially with it's, the out of focus it's you real. talk about. Yeah. yeah. And I, yeah, I'm always critical with the focus because yeah. I'm always shooting wide open and don't have time to do post or, you know, so it has to, it has to work with me and this camera, you know, remarkably. You know, again, I, 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 I as people who know me, if I had something to say about this that was maybe you know <laughs> not that positive, I would say it because that's who I am. In order for people to really believe what I say all the time is I have to say the truth all the time. Um, I, I'm asked all the time uh, from people at like a corporate and uh, you know at the dealer level, you know about uh, uh, certain features and this and that. And I'm very frank about it because it's only my opinion. <laughs> I, 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 it's not everybody's opinion, but I want people to understand mine, which is really pushing this thing. Uh, and any camera. Um, so that's yeah. a New York guy when it's like the word needs needs to mean something. You know that's that's a no, uh, and it, I get it. I'm with you. True. Yeah. I feel you. And while you're all about being in the environment with the with the ambient lights like that, I'm more of a flash type shooter. Yeah. And one of the big things I like to let you guys know about this, it supports TTL. Not a lot of Leicas do that. This one supports full TTL. So if you're someone that wants to work with some kind of automated flash, you got it right here in the Q3. Yeah, the other thing is dynamic range. For me, for instance, I'm a fashion beauty shooter, so flesh is very important to me. It's got to be very accurate. I need to output by the end of the shoot day, um, so I have to put it right on the sensor. And so the dynamic range is amazing. The, you know, the, the, the subtlety of the highlight um, uh, uh, acceptance, uh, which is really important to me. And don't forget, this is a quick camera, right? Uh, with that autofocus, you also get 15 frames per second electronic shutter and 10 frames per second mechanical shutter, so it stays with you with all these fast applications on the fly, perfect for street photography. And keeping up with today's needs, we're talking about a camera that has a specific cable that can go from the USB-C to lightning, and it'll be recognized in your iPhone. You just blast your images right through. You know how wireless sometimes takes a little while or some weird pairing issues or whatever? You don't have to worry about any of that hard line, you're in there, it's really quick and fast and you're able to get your images from camera to phone to sharing. And one thing to note though is one of the things they also add on to this aside from the video features and yes it is a 20 millimeter fixed lens but you still have that digital zoom capability and now where the Q2 is up to 70 millimeters, this is going to 90 millimeters crop which you can do because it has that resolution bump from the 40 something megapixel to the 60 megapixel which is nice, right? They're really utilizing everything out of every spec they boosted up from the Q2 to the Q3. Well, I mean, Mark, what can I say, man? It's always good having you on the yeah, channel. I really appreciate well, it. I know yeah, that you're going to be, you. it's good to see you. It's been like a few years, man. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, we got we to meet up a few, uh, a little more often. Maybe yeah. we'll get you back on the channel a little more often, yeah? Yeah, yeah, once you guys get stuff uh, finished up, the, the new digs down there, let's, uh, let's do that. Stay tuned for that, but Mark, oh, man. Oh, yeah, I want to say one more go thing. Go for it. I forgot. Live your truth, do it. BSI sensor. If you don't understand it, Seth will explain it to you on another <laughs> occasion, or just Google it you know, where we get most of our information from. Um, BSI sensor, huge, huge advancement in terms of the way uh, light hits a sensor and, and what the capabilities are. That's a game changer. It's a very modern element that is contained in this now, BSI sensor. Yeah, so the BSI sensor will get you at least one stop of cleaner noise in lower light situations. Then you got the 1.7, then you got the pixel binning. It's got everything you need to mitigate lower light situations, still get a cleaner shot. So just to boil it down, you can, the nerds will hit me up in the comments about all these things, but yeah. check out the links down below for the full specs. And don't forget to, uh, you know, ask us some questions in those comments. We'll do our best to answer them down there. Don't forget to like, it really helps out this video. Helps out in the mark, he needs these likes to feed his family. Yeah. You know, and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and the bell for more videos like this. 
We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Mark. We appreciate it. Um, Seth, <laughs> seriously. I gotta do an intro first. No, you don't. <laughs>